Yeah, good afternoon, everyone. This is John W8JES sitting here in the shack, which uh, most of you know I'm sitting down because of my knee replacement a few weeks back that's still healing up. So we're sitting here waiting on the International Space Station to fly over today. And it should uh, fly over somewhat uh, overhead. It just flew over uh, Australia about 20 minutes ago. We have about 20 minutes uh, for it to fly over us. And they will be uh, contacting uh, Maple Dale Elementary School in Cincinnati, Ohio. Which uh, we, should, uh, we should be able to hear them here on the radio here in Finlay, Ohio. We have the radio tuned uh, in on the space station frequency and uh, should be able to hear them uh, talk to the elementary school down there. Like I said, we have about another 20 minutes and uh, we should be able to listen in and uh, see what they have to say today. Not too often we get this opportunity. So we'll get back on here in a, a little bit and we'll see if we, what we can hear. Alrighty, we're back in there. And we have about... Uh, Three to four minutes before they get in range, they're just uh, flying over the western part of Canada. As you can see here, hopefully you can see that. And uh, and then we're located clear down here. Uh, almost in range and uh, should uh, should be picking them up here. Within a couple more minutes yet. Alright, we're back in here and uh, they are in range. And uh, I hear them in there, but uh, they're coming up going. As you can hear, the space station, but you cannot well, hear. It would be very dangerous. It would be one of the more serious things that we can imagine. We the kids asking questions. Fire, they're they're on a different frequency and too far special, away. Special containers. We actually have a special project up here that looks at exactly that because fire does burn differently because we don't have uh, in, uh, in space without uh, convection, which we have on, uh, have on Earth as a result of uh, hot air tending to rise. We don't have air in space unless we add, a, uh, 
if we add ventilation to it, so it actually burns different, differently, and we are, that's something that scientists are actually interested in learning about. So 
was kind of nice. I'm not looking forward to that when I come back to Earth. Well, in fact, we have had more than six people on the space station during my time up here. I've been up here for seven months now, and about two months into my mission, we had a period of time where we had nine people on board the International Space Station. And we, there have been as many as 12 or even 13 in the past on the space station for brief periods of time. But the space station was built around having only room for six people, six or seven people for a long period of time. would say that you will keep on going forever until you run into something, but inside the space station there are lots of things to run into, so I could float in the middle of a module and my crewmates could push me, and then I would just go off in any old direction until I ran into something. Well, there you have it. It uh, on a very uh, short window. It must have been uh, seven, eight minutes of uh, them get to talk. Like I said, you could only hear the space station. You couldn't hear the the elementary kids asking questions because they transmit on another frequency, and uh, they're uh, uh, farther away, which. Not as far as the space station, but they're flying directly overhead, and uh, you get a better, better signal. And uh, they're out over, out over the Atlantic, and uh, headed back around. So uh, I want to give out a thanks to Gordon K C O J for uh, letting me in on the information when. Uh, the audio was taking place. Uh, thanks again, and uh, thanks for uh, watching and listening in. 73's W8JES.